take a seat, Takakun. I need to talk to you. I swallowed again, walking up the steps and taking a seat beside her. We sat in silence for a few minutes, until she cleared her throat. I love my sister, Takakun, dearly. However, recently I have found myself resenting her for the time that she gets to spend with you. I do not know how to deal with this. I find myself in one unfair situation after another. Oh. I spoke with Mako earlier. We have come to an agreement. We will both wait. We both trust you, Takakun. We are both going to wait until you fulfill your promise to return before we try to win you. There will be no more flirting from me and no more silly antics from Mako. I am sorry to have dragged you into this family feud, but I fear it cannot be helped. There is no need to be sorry, Machiko-san. As your friend, I feel kind of hope you'll talk to me if something like that bothers you. But I'm happy to see you, you were able to bury the hatchet. Ah, but I hope you'll come prepared. The battle will be intense upon your return. Maiko said she would like to apologize to you. I believe she's in her room right now. I'll make sure to prepare myself for the greatest battle ever fought. But for now, I'll go find Maiko-chan. I dashed past Machiko, who nodded as I walked past, lounging back on the deck in the early morning sun. I climbed the stairs of the mansion, looking around at what appeared to be the aftermath of their discussion. I thanked whatever angel was watching over me that I hadn't been around to witness or experience it. Meiko chan I'm coming in. Machinko said that you wanted to talk. No, wait! By the time I heard her cry, it was too late. Through the open door, I saw her skirt halfway up her hips. Her hands clapped around her chest. Meiko let out a shriek. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were changing. Ah, get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I was cut off as I tried to leave, bumping into something rather warm and soft. The obstacle in question gasped as I toppled backwards into the room. Mako! After our talk, no less? Honestly, I can't trust you to keep decent at all these days, can I? Wait, Onisama! I didn't do anything this time. I promise. I swear. I didn't plan this. I was just trying to get changed. Takani's the one who burst in before I had a chance to cover myself up. It was an accident. I didn't even know if Mako was in here. I was trying to find her. Honestly, you two, do you think I have forgotten about what happened earlier? You two are definitely up to something. Onisama, I swear! She's right. It was just a big mistake. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. I believe you. Mako, you are my sister and I love you and trust you. Takahiro, you are a pervert who loves peeking on girls. You should always knock and then wait before entering a room. What if it had been the Sunadre tyrants? Your head would quickly have left your shoulders behind. I'm terrified of how you spot your own statement. Spot on your statement would have been. In any case, I want to let you two know that I don't mind attending the festival with you two. That is, if you want to accompany a peeking pervert like me. I added in the last bit with a dramatic sob, acting as if I'd been hurt by the comments. A scolded puppy can learn a thing or two from the pitiful expression I wore just then. Oh, I could wear that nice fluffy thing that Su chan gave me. You know, the one she said she wanted to see you in? But when you saw it, you turned white as a sheet, and I think you kind of fainted. Su chan gave it to me when you were out cold, and told me to keep it, just in case. Giggling to herself, she ran to the closet, searching through the piles of clothes in search of the dress. I slapped a hand over my eyes, turning my head away as she rummaged through her room in her half-naked state. Mako! Change first, then consider your wardrobe. I do, however, have one small request. Do not wear anything that Fiend has given you. Aw, no fair! Su chan gives me such pretty skirts and tops. She's really generous. You should wear some of it sometimes. Oh, Onisama, does that include these panty- No! Keep those on. You are completely hopeless, Takakun. Takakun, thank you very much for the invitation. We'll both graciously accept. I, um, think it's best for me to wait outside, Machiko-san. I, I think you better help your sister out with her choice of wardrobe. If the villagers saw her in certain outfits... I found myself wondering what would happen if Meiko actually did end up going to the festival wearing nothing but an apron in her panties. But eventually, let the thought go.